Drawing every monster on the continent. Day 38 Tweddle. I feel so funny these days I'd rather sleep than stay awake She's used to talk to me Another one, thank you. 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 Drawing every monster on the continent. Day 43, Shelby. Hello weary traveler. Need doubloons fast. I will give you 200 doubloons if you give me 20. But, you will have to pay me back tomorrow. If you fail to pay me back in full, I will unfortunately have to increase the interest by 10% daily until you do. Thank you for your understanding and I will see you tomorrow. singing yeah yeah one month of singing yeah yeah one year of singing <clears throat> yeah yeah
If you be the cash, I be the rubber band. Uh, <clears throat> okay. If you be the cash, I be the rubber band. You be the match, I will be a fuse. Boom. Some TikTok followers <laughs> said TikTok likes Monster Antler Tyson. <laughs> This is my favorite one ever. Oh. Insert MSM lore. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, so you? Yeah, so I thought. <laughs> I can't even say it, it's too good. It's a good one. <laughs> Like Montana, that's a little bit of a big baby. The rats are absolutely going to hate this announcement. But the rats don't run this city. We do. First of all, how dare you? <laughs> oh, what are we building? <laughs> MSM content and win the hee hee wow we seal of approval, make sure to use the hashtag hee hee wow we on socials. I'm Monster Handler Jen. Keep on hee hee. -ing. Run until you see an octopus. Okay. There's no point in saying good morning. Because it certainly is not one. Go ahead. Let's light this candle, huh? Hey, Handler Helpers, it's me, Monster Handler Tyson, coming to you with another quick questions, the show where I answer your questions quickly. Hmm. Or maybe it's a show where we didn't quite get to your question on MSM Live, or maybe I saw your question on one of our socials and decided to answer it. So, in that case, let's get started! Now, our first question is, how much could a Wubox bench? Wubboxes are incredibly strong thanks to their element of electricity coursing through their robotic veins. Though we haven't been able to put an exact number on what it could lift, we have seen examples of its great feats of strength in the past, most recently when it was able to launch Gobbledygord into the Monster World stratosphere in only just a couple seconds. To put that into a human world perspective, it takes about 7.2 million pounds of thrust to get one of our rockets into our stratosphere, and that even takes eight and a half minutes. So imagine Wellbox launching Gobbledygord into the Monster World stratosphere in just a couple of seconds. We can only imagine the potential strength that it has. Our next question is, what is a group of Reedlings called? And a group of Reedlings is called a romp of Reedlings. <laughs> Our next question asks, is there any instances of trouble being energetic or is it always pretty sleepy? Trouble for the most part is constantly sleepy and that is thanks to its blubberfly friends always lolling it to sleep with a nice little lullaby. Though its blubberfly friends also need to get some rest so when they are resting trouble will just slink into the living ocean for a nice midnight dip though when it does that it is still incredibly tired. Our next question is whether Bookworm's hair bun is sentient or is it purely cosmetic? Bookworm's hair bun is actually not sentient, but it is actually their second mouth. They have evolved this way so they can both read and eat at the same time and not get crumbs on their precious books. It is safe to say that this multi-arm monster is the best multitasker in the monster world. Our next question is when a monculus eats, where does its treats go? The nutrition is redistributed from the mouth to different parts of the monculus' body through plasmic crystallium that flows over and through it. It's kind of like how a person's bloodstream carries nutrients to different organs in their body. Our final question is, if Epic Glowl is also known as a Glorvid, why isn't it just a different monster and a part of the Glowl family? Just as an animal can go by many different names like Puma, Cougar, or Mountain Lion, the species itself is still the same. 
The Glorvid name is a reference to the human world family of birds called Corvids, which include crows, ravens, and magpies, and the fact that this epic variant is distinct enough in its beak shape to enjoy multiple names. Sort of like how the wobbly mulch is also called the clawed yopper. So in the end, it depends on who you ask. All right, handler helpers, that concludes episode two of Quick Questions with Monster Handler Tyson. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below or really comment in any of our socials, and I will hopefully get to them in the next one. But in the meantime, happy monstering! is a wondrous chill and yes it can be lonely but hey do what you will